my channel, I'm Rini and I'm back again. This time I'm doing a slightly different video. Today I'm going to be doing a video on tips how to pass cabin crew assessment day and interview day. For those of you who don't know, I've worked for many many different airlines for around 12 years on and off. I've had a few breaks in between and I've definitely worked my way through several airlines along the way. So I do feel like I'm a good person to give some tips and hints on how to ace those assessment days and what to expect and how to prepare as much as possible. They want to see what you will look like in a cabin crew uniform and how best you will represent their company. Now what I mean by dressing smartly is turning up in a nice suit. This recommendation for ladies is to make sure that your hair is tied back in a bun. This is because most airlines do not let you wear your hair down when you are working for them. For gentlemen this means just turning up being clean shaven and making sure that your hair is out of your face and looks tidy. Be polite to everyone and when I say everyone I mean everyone. From when you leave the car park or when you leave your public transport on the way, you never know who is going to be there on your assessment day. I really do feel like you're on Big Brother on that day because they really, really do watch everything and scrutinise everything. And I think a lot of people fall down at that first step. They're not aware of how they're bringing themselves across. Smile, smile, smile. They want to see that you're happy and you're approachable and generally how you would look when you are walking through a cabin. They don't want to employ someone that has a face like this. They want to see someone that's smiling and approachable. And also it's very important to be aware of your body language. Please make sure that this is welcoming. It's really important to interact with everyone on that day. Talk to people that you don't know and you've never met before, and people from different backgrounds. In many, many situations, especially for the larger companies, you have never met anybody in that room before. You need to be able to interact 300, 400 passengers that you've never met before, and you need to be able to talk comfortably and confidently. Firstly, they will do a sort of warming session where they tell you a bit about the company and what to expect from the day. Generally, there is an introduction. So one person introduces themselves and you go around the room. For example, you give your name, your age, and why you want to work for the company, and normally like an icebreaker, like who's the most famous person you've met or what's the strangest thing you've ever done. And when you give this key parts of information about yourself, you need to come across as confident, make sure that your voice is very, very clear and that you are concise with what you are saying. After the introduction, there will be a series of group tests. They will split you into groups and they will give you a task. Normally, they have a piece of paper with some instructions on there. Say, for example, you have to build a Jenga. I think that was actually one of mine. <laughs> you then have to read through the instructions as a group and complete this task within a set amount of time. You really need to focus on at this point is how you interact with people. They want to see how you deal under pressure and under stress. If 15 people are trying to get their voice heard at the same time, whilst people are watching you in an interview process, it's very, very easy to fall at this part. Be aware of your time restraints. For example, they will give you perhaps five to ten minutes to show that you are aware of your surroundings. This is very, very important for working as cabin crew because once you've completed this group task, you then go for a break. Normally they ask you to leave the room and you have a set amount of time to have some refreshments and then they go through who they like to who got through to the next point. Most charter airlines do some sort of mathematics test. Generally they do allow you to have a calculator and it's just basic conversion converting pounds into euros and back. This is probably the most we'll ever use maps on a flight, converting currencies and also in case your onboard computers at work are not working, you need to add together the prices for the products. First, after that they will separate you again and you will normally go for a longer lunch break and there they will tell you who has got through to the final interviews.
In most cases, the final interview will be on the same day. We call it a two to one. In many cases, it could also be a one to one, and I've even had a three to one. So I've actually had three people interviewing me for my dream job. Once you go through to the interview, you will have a series of questions. Now, it will always be competency-based questions. Competency-based questions are a series of questions that will ask you to give specific examples of when you've shown how you've done a specific task. Tell me a time when you've had to win back a customer that was very, very disappointed by previous service given by this company. So my number one tip on preparing for any questions that you may be asked on the cabin crew interview is read. There are many, many forums out there. I will link down below the websites that you can check to get advice on some interview questions. My tip is to go to the library and get some books on tough interview questions. It doesn't have to be airline specific. You just need to go through to the customer service department and check through the questions there and use them in terms of relevancy to you, help you with your cabin crew interview. So those are my top tips on how to pass the cabin crew assessment and interview day. So I'm thinking to do a video on cabin crew questions and what questions to expect on the day. And also one of the biggest companies I've worked for was Emirates Airline. And I know many of you out there would love to work for a company like that. And I was based in the Middle East. And the Emirates assessment day is quite different layout. So if anyone would like to see that, please do leave thumbs up or comment. If you like the video today, please comment down below. Please do remember to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and look forward to seeing you in my next video.